Here it comes. We got a few hours away generally. I would say between about midnight and three and four in the morning, the, the front arrives with the burst of snow, the fast freeze, plummeting temps, and then from there on, it's out of the gates. All right, out of the gates, all the way into Christmas morning. Winter storm warning here. Various start and end times. Out here, it'll end at 7 a.m. Uh, Christmas Eve morning. Here it ends at 10 a.m. Christmas Eve morning, but we're going to keep it all the way into uh, 4 p.m. in Lake and Ashtabula counties on Christmas Eve. We've also got a wind chill warning in effect for everybody Friday through Saturday morning for wind chills between minus 20 and about minus 30, minus 32, and that begins tomorrow because the amazing amount of cold air that is moving our way, I'm going to show it to you coming up. Right now, here's the problem. We got rain. We got showers and they're going to increase in coverage through the evening hours and right up until the front arrives. It's it, it's going to rain, so it's going to put water down on the roads and then we get the flash freeze and the rapid temperature fall and whatever's on the road is going to freeze right up. All right, so rain showers here. We're in the 40s. It's mild. It's breezy. You're fine if you're traveling this evening, except if you're going this way, you can see that snow, although that snow is moving north. Here's the storm. We're going to see an area of low pressure developing right here. It's going to slide up over Lake Geary toward midnight and then slide away. How quickly it moves away, that's what the models disagree on. And that's why we're having issues with snowfall totals. Remember yesterday, we had very low totals. We're still going to have low totals for many of you, but then some of you have had to up those. Coming up, look at this. It's 41 in Indianapolis. It's two degrees in Bloomington. It's minus seven in Minneapolis. Des Moines, Iowa now at minus nine. St. Louis at five. So this is an extreme drop in temperature in a matter of hours. Then you get winds coming in. As early as tomorrow morning, winds are going to gust above 40 miles per hour to 50 to 55 to 60 miles per hour through the day, through the overnight into Saturday morning. It's a prolonged wind event, folks. So you're going to have wind chills minus 20 to minus 30. Here's 8 a.m. Midnight, we're going to be in the lower and middle 40s. 7 at 8 a.m. 5, 4, 2, 1, minus 2. This is at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. It is still snowing. You notice on this computer model today, the snow is lingering longer. Yeah. It's lingering longer and then it shifts to the north during the afternoon and then it hugs the shoreline. Now that's going to be a problem for Lake County and northern Ashtabula County. That I-9 corridor up to the shoreline, you could see pretty good snows more than a foot, even dipping into greater Cleveland for Saturday morning for the tailgaters. Then you get a few more flurries and lighter snow showers here and there. But how about Saturday at noon? Browns fans, seven. Seven. It's 11 at 8 p.m. And there's your squall. This is Sunday at 4 a.m. You still have a squall in Lake and Ashtabula County. All right, I'm going to say the B word for you folks in Lake and Ashtabula County. Blizzard. Because if that holds up and then there's a squall and 50 mile an hour winds through early Christmas morning, that's, that's a problem. All right, so here's 1 p.m. Look at the winds here. Look at the winds. 4 a.m. Sunday, they're, they're subsiding. How about your wind chills? 1 a.m. Saturday, you got wind chills minus 27, minus 25, minus 25. Get ready. Important to remember that.